What do you like about JavaScript? What don't you like about JavaScript? In today's video, I'm going to let you know my five favorite things about my favorite language, JavaScript. Welcome to another tutorial from All Things JavaScript, where we help bridge the gap between novice and expert. To be notified about new tutorials, make sure to click that bell button and subscribe. Also, check out the discount links to all my courses that I've included in the description of this tutorial. Today's video is going to be a bit different. Occasionally, I read bloggers and posters that malign JavaScript. This is usually because they don't understand the language or haven't used it enough to appreciate its good parts. Does it have bad parts? Yes, but I want to focus on my favorite things about JavaScript. Now, this is not the five best things about JavaScript. It is my five favorite things. Include your comments and what you like and don't like about JavaScript. I'm really interested to read your perspective on this as well. Now, as I explain my five favorite things, you may want to learn more about some of those. So I will include links to tutorials I've already done on some of these features. All right, let's get to my five favorite things about JavaScript. Now, these are not in any particular order. They are just my five favorite things, and I tried to put them in an order that was best to discuss them. So first, JavaScript is ubiquitous. Now, first off, I like the word ubiquitous. In fact, I don't believe I even knew what it meant until it was used with JavaScript. But basically what ubiquitous means is that it's present everywhere. And that's the nature of JavaScript. It is everywhere. You can use it in a browser. You can use it on the server with Node. You can create a desktop application with JavaScript using something like Electron. And then there are numerous frameworks for creating mobile apps using JavaScript. So it's everywhere. It's ubiquitous. And so that's one of my favorite things about it. The flexibility of the language. Now, JavaScript is very flexible. You can use it in a number of different ways. For example, you can write synchronous code. You can write asynchronous code. You can delve into a functional paradigm or an OOP paradigm. You can write server-based code and client-side code. It can be used in so many different ways. Now, some of you have heard me cite this quote by Angus Kroll in past tutorials. It's a quote I really like. It comes from his book, If Hemingway Wrote JavaScript. And he has this to say about JavaScript. And I think it expresses what I love about the flexibility of the language. He said, natural language has no dominant paradigm and neither does JavaScript. Developers can select from a grab bag of approaches, procedural, functional, and object oriented, and blend them as appropriate. Most ideas can be expressed in multiple ways, and many JavaScript programmers can be identified by their distinct coding style. So I love that idea about JavaScript. I love being able to express myself even though I'm doing coding. There is a creative aspect to programming that I think sometimes gets overlooked. And JavaScript allows you to express that because of its flexibility. So that's one of the things that I really appreciate about it. Now, prototypal inheritance. I have come to really appreciate the idea of a prototype and prototypal inheritance. It is not class-based. It is different. So many times people coming from a language that supports classes will malign prototypal inheritance. But I say, give it a chance, get used to it, because I have come to appreciate this approach. And I don't particularly like the class model that has been superimposed on JavaScript, the class constructor. Behind the scenes, it is really just prototypal inheritance masquerading as classes. I say, get to know the original way of doing it and appreciate that and take advantage of its features. So I enjoy prototypal inheritance. All right, next, 
the power of functions. I love what you can do with functions. In JavaScript, functions are objects. And I think that is why I almost always declare my functions as function expressions, because it expresses the true nature of functions. They are first class. You can store them in a variable and pass them around. JavaScript makes use of higher order functions, so you can accept them as a parameter in another function or return them at the end of a function. This nature of functions just makes them very powerful. Now, remember, a lot of these things I'm talking about, I will link to tutorials in the description if you are not familiar with the idea and want to learn more about that. For example, prototypes, I'll link to that. First class and higher order functions and nature functions, I'll link to that. And I'll link to the next feature of my five favorite features, which is closure. I love the concept of closure and the fact that JavaScript supports it makes it one of my favorite features. Now think about this, think about this idea. What if you could execute some code, have it finish and complete, but then later on still have access to the state, the data established while the code was executing? That is closure and it is a powerful idea and used extensively in JavaScript. And it is a favorite feature of mine. All right, so those are my five favorite things. Why five? I don't know, I guess it seemed like a nice round number. However, you may feel that I've left something off or that something should be replaced. Well, let me know in the comments. I'd love to read about what your perspective is or if there's something you really don't like about JavaScript, there are those things as well. Include that. It may start a nice discussion. Now, before we're done here, please hit that like button. And remember, I've provided discount links to all my courses in the description section. If you would like to become a patron of this channel, there are additional benefits to certain levels. For example, you can get access to the code files I use at the member level. You can follow a link in the description to learn more about that. You can also contribute by visiting my website. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button or click the circle link on the left, the one with my face. Also click the bell button to be notified about new releases. I release a new tutorial each week. You can click the video link in the center to access another tutorial right away or click the link on the right to visit my website, allthingsjavascript.com for a complete list of tutorials and courses. Thanks for watching.